calculate the empirical and molecular formula of a compound containing 76.6% carbon so carbon is 76.6% 6.38% hydrogen and the rest is oxygen this means first we need to sum this up the percentage of carbon and hydrogen so this will be 82.98% if we subtract this value with 100 then we can find out the percentage composition for oxygen and therefore oxygen is 17.02% we can write the percentage composition in grams because percentage means we are dividing it by 100 and then 100 grams total so 100 100 cancel so everything we can write it in grams so we have three elements here so carbon hydrogen oxygen and then the percentage composition is here 76.60 grams here 6.38 grams and the oxygen is 17.02 gram atomic masses of these three elements we know this is 12 this is 1 this is 16 so this is gram per mole so this one the next quantity we need to find is either the moles or the relative number of atoms so you can either call directly call it as moles or relative number of atoms so that what we do we divide we take the percentage composition and then divide by the atomic mass so 76.60 divided by 12 that will be 6.38 6.38 divided by 1 will be 6.38 and then 17.02 divided by 16 that will be 1.06 this we can approximately take it as 6 because it is not 6.5 or over 6.5 and therefore we can take this also approximately as 6 this one we can approximately take it as 1 and then we need to find the simple ratio so simple ratio we take the smallest value and then divide by it so 6 by 1 that will be 6 6 by 1 this is also 6 1 by 1 is equal to 1 and therefore we have 6 times carbon 6 times hydrogen and 1 time oxygen so that's our empirical formula now we need to determine the molecular formula we know that molecular formula is equal to empirical formula times the whole number n this whole number n is equal to molecular mass divided by calculated empirical formula mass so we know the empirical formula and therefore it wouldn't be difficult to find out the calculated empirical formula mass its vapor density is given so molecular mass is two times of vapor density and this means that 2 times 47 and that is equal to 94 so that's the molecular mass and therefore this is 94 divided by calculated empirical formula mass so C6H6O so that means 12 times 6 plus 1 times 6 plus 16 times 1 so that will be equal to once again 94 so 94 divided by 94 that means 1 the value of n here is 1 and this means that the empirical formula is also equal to C6H6O what we can write for C6H6O we can write phenol isn't it so that will be C6H6O